This tutorial is going to show you a couple of the most basic tips you can learn when you're just starting out with Photoshop. It will allow you to take one of your photographs and make it look just a little bit more professional. You're going to learn some of the tweaks that a professional will do when they first open that image in Photoshop. So you can see here that we have a photograph of a squirrel and we're going to first apply an adjustment level to this, which will have a great effect on the image. So you'll want to click Layer, then go to New Adjustment Layer, and then click Levels. Click OK in the dialog box that appears, and on the right you're going to see a graph appear that has three pivots along the bottom. You'll see the graph here is more off to one side than the other. Here it's on the left, but it could be on the right on your image, depending on whether your photo is generally too light or too dark. What we want to do for this image is grab the pivot on the right, the white pivot, and drag it just a little bit to the left, and you'll begin to notice that the photo becomes a little bit brighter. Now, grab the pivot on the left and drag this one in just a little bit. You'll notice that the dark areas, which might have been looking a bit washed out, a bit grey, become nice and black. The middle pivot just adjusts the overall brightness. Here, you can see that dragging it to the right gives a nice, richer feel. Adjusting the levels graph is really mostly about just looking at the photo and moving the pivots on this graph until it looks right. How you move these pivots will very much depend on your image. These settings just happen to work very well for this image. Now we're going to need to add a different sort of adjustment layer, which is also something that many professionals will do with almost every photo that they take. This is adjusting the curves option. So click Layer, go to New Adjustment Layer, and click Curves. Click OK. You will see that another graph appears on the right, and this time you'll see a line running through the center of it, from the bottom left to the top right. The most common type of curve that a professional would add to their photo is something called the S-shaped curve. This involves putting a pivot up the line, about three quarters of the way along, and then another pivot at the quarter point. You're going to then need to take the quarter point and drag it down a little, and take the three quarter point and drag it up a little. You're just going to have to do this a really small amount, and the amount you do will depend on your photo. Obviously, this adjustment is called the S-shaped curve because it has a slight S-shape to it. We're just adjusting the pivot here a tiny amount, and I'm pretty happy with this result. As you can see, you really don't need to move the pivots a lot, and you can see that a small adjustment adds a great deal to the photograph. It really makes it look much more vibrant. Finally, let's have a look at the third adjustment layer, and this is going to affect the colors of the image themselves. Click Layer, go to New Adjustment Layer, and then click on Color Balance. And, as with the last two features, what you do here will really depend on the photo you are editing, and you'll just need to adjust your colors until it feels right for you. In this image, we've obviously got a lot of green, and depending on what the dominant color is in your photograph, you'll probably want to think about adjusting that level. So, what we'll do here is we'll click on the magenta to green slider, and drop the green a little by moving the pivot towards the magenta side of the spectrum. And what's nice about this is it really stops the green being too garish, and it makes the squirrel a better subject of the image. Another popular adjustment you might want to make here is making the image slightly warmer, and you can do this by using the top slider and just moving it slightly towards the red spectrum. As you can see, it adds a nice warmth to the photograph. This setting here works about right for us. Obviously, and as I've said before, the adjustments you make here will depend on your photograph. Okay, well that's about it. Let's close the adjustment panel, and you can see we have a rather good-looking photo. And just to show you how good this looks compared to the original, I have a copy of the photograph before we began editing it open, and you can see the photo really does look more vibrant, really more interesting. So that's before, and this is after.